Ah, terrific. The rotten smell from Sector 9 isn't so disgusting today. Weights, anchors, metal boots, hooks, all the things you need if you want to stay moored forever. This is where Tony's budgie cage used to hang, but he couldn't cope with her, so he skedaddled. He died of old age. Yeah, whatever you say. After you accidentally infected him with progeria. Y you know, I liked my version better. Hands off my stuff. What? I'm just browsing. Browsing is what paying customers do. What you mean is driving me nuts. There isn't even one crumb left. Seems like I have to find my own ingredients. Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you gonna pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Um, hands off, um. All right, all right. This sign deserves more attention. I mean, it's a cow and it's drinking beer. Unfortunately, the effect of her training doesn't last long. She must be doing something wrong. The citizens of Kuvak fear for their lives, they can call for help here. This thing ruined many good escape plans. Inventory! Fire in the inventory! Whew, wish I had some kind of protection suit. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. Blech. 
what Nat is. Like always, there's only junk on TV. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. It's hot enough. I don't want to waste all of my explosive mojo at once. Put the funnel to the tunnel, my dad used to say. I wonder if this is the situation he might have referred to. Well, I think that should be an... my impeccable sense of I don't need any more target practice I'm ready for the throw of my life this sign deserves more attention I mean it and it's drinking beer boy it's attached firmly hmm if I want to drill a hole into the pipe I'll need a different tool Boy, it's attached firmly. I don't want to waste all of my explosive... Put the funnel to the tunnel, my dad used to say. I wonder if this is the situation he might have referred to. This doesn't have to be, uh, <laughs> waited on. Better boom <laughs> I don't think so. Never mind.
The blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exactly. About my tea again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Tony. Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Don't Anything else? Ah, uh, see you. Rufus. Exactly. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter. Lotec thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No, really, let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. And half sad. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. Oh, I have to talk to her. 
She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Hey, goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in... Uh, <laughs> sleep. 